Hello everybody, this is Mike from mboxwave.com. I just got into a short position on this morning's e-mini NASDAQ. Um, I got in right here, put my stop here above this um, little swing up here, uh, the high of it. My profit down here, so um, I saw good setup here it looked pretty strong so I'm gonna talk about the analysis and then we'll see what happens alright so it's um you know mornings already coming along here because when we open here 930 the turn of the markets markets came down blah here and then they were shot up we had demand and then I saw demand ex exhaustion pattern and a change in behavior and so that's why I got in all right, so I want to talk about the uh, how many points we have. So one of the things about the exhaustion patterns is, you know, we're looking at, you know, the buying here at the top. You know, we're going 198, 49, 22. Now, I know this is a Stooges, right? This is a Stooges signal, and it gives off a Stooges, but I have an algorithmic filter uh, turned on. So if you go into GAN swing settings, the algo filter smart if you change it to none then we'll see this usually I use smart because it filters out noisy signals but I know that this you know in my head this is a stooges all right so it looks like prices coming down we're ready over two grand in profit so uh, let's go ahead I'm going to talk about what I saw all right so we started climbing up here where there was demand and then at the high you know we're making higher highs you know demand drops and then when we get to the Stooges signal by the time we get to it it's demand exhaustion so we go from demand drop to demand exhaustion because exhaustion is over a prolonged amount of time this drop was you know fast and this is prolonged demand exhaustion so let me write that down so we got Got a demand drop and demand exhaustion. Demand drop. Well, I guess I'll just put it in here plus demand exhaustion. Now, when I'm looking at these two, I'm looking them like this is as two points because we have a drop and the exhaustion is, you know, it's prolonged. All right. Uh, then we have, you know, expansion of MBOX supply right here. We can see that. All right, let's get the color. All right, we had the um, Stooges cell. And again, I had to change the filters to none to see it. So if you don't see it on your chart, change the filter to none. Um, so we had the Stooges cell. Yeah, see when I'm trading without recording, I don't mark up the chart as much as I am for the videos. So that's why I get the color sometimes backwards. All right, so, and we saw, you know, demand exhaustion here in the wave, 198, 45, 22, 49, 22. So we had wave, um, we had wave demand exhaustion. All right, so we saw it in the wave and we see it in the M box. So that could, you know makes it even stronger. So this is really the M box demand drop plus demand exhaustion. All right. All right. Looks like it's correcting some. All right. Let's continue. Oh, one of the things I got in, <clears throat> I got in after this bar because I saw this sell imbalance in the M box delta completed. All right. And I want to talk about this here. So I had an M box 
cell imbalance. So what does this mean? This means that price moved up, but there was more selling, right? So you see this box, this blue box, price moved up, uh, but there was more selling. So if it's below zero, it means there's more selling. So the color here indicates direction, right? So direction of price went up, but there was more selling. So it's blue here because price went up, but there's more selling, so it's below zero. So I get asked about this sometimes. So I'm just going to uh, repeat it here. Um, so in the cumulative, cumulative buying looks that it contracts. It contracts. And we have the cumulative selling at the time of the trade, it was expanding, you know, you can see that. So the cumulative selling expanding. All right, here. All right, um, the other thing, so in terms of the pace, what do we see? So see, we had the pace, what's interesting, we had Nice pace of offers here, a lot of demand, prices going up. And by the time we hit our high here, we had the you know demand drop, no demand here. And you know we also had a drop in the uh, pace of offers. So this looks like a total change in behavior, a bearish change in behavior. All right, so we got the pace of offers drops down. Now the pace of the bids, it doesn't look as strong as here, but also got to take into account this happens happened earlier. So, you know, when the market's open and, you know, things are, volatility is up, things are moving more quicker. So now it's, you know, we're, um, you know, it's all 10.50 a.m. So, you know, things are moving a little slower, but, you know, at this point, if we're looking at, you know, all this here, at this point, we are outpacing the offers. The bids are. All right, so another thing that I'd like to point out here, we had this pullback here, and by the time price came down, it became a failed pullback signal. You know at this point right here so this becomes a failed pullback and failures um, could be just as important because you know they show you that 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 move didn't work out so Oh, well, looks like this bar is coming down quite quickly, quite nicely. All right, so how many points of uh, confluence do we have here? So we had the Stooges cell, so that's one. We had this wave demand exhaustion, 198, 49, 22, that's two. The failed pullback signal, that's three. All right, so we see a demand drop here and demand exhaustion, so that's two points, so that's five. Uh, Mbox supply, that's six. We had the inbox sell imbalance, that's seven. The cumulative buying contracts, that's eight. Cumulative selling expanding, that's nine. Pace of offers drops, that's 10. And bids outpacing the offers, that's 11. 11 points of confluence. And looks like we're doing well, seven grand in problem so far. So I'm gonna talk about this here. Why didn't I get right, you know, somebody's I'm sure is gonna ask, why didn't I get right here at the Stooges sell? Because at the time of Stooges sell, I didn't see supply come in yet. So it is a valid, depends on your trading style. If you want to trade aggressively, you can get in at that point. So I waited until I saw supply came in here. And then we had this nice sell and balance right here. And that's when I got in, right? So I find that, okay, we just got out. So that's uh, $8,950 in profits. So just shy of 9000 so what I was explaining here is that, so this getting in here, 
that's a valid entry, but it's aggressive because you didn't see supply yet. We saw demand exhausted. So I like I like to have higher probability trade. So I like to see that supply comes in and supply came in here and in the cumulus selling in the inbox supply. And then we had the sell and balance. And that was a really nice entry point to me. It looked like, you know, so I'm always looking for what's going to give me the highest chances for a trade working out. You know, put my uh, profit. Looks like this move could continue. Maybe that was a little. Initially, I just put it here, but you know, the cumulus selling is expanding. Looks like that's going strong. But you know, what can you do? That's what happens when I record these videos. Um, anyway, so that's it for me today. Made almost nine thousand dollars in profit. So hope you guys enjoy this video. And you see there's, uh, yeah, I think this move is good for some more, see more selling and the bids, pace of bids really coming in. Anyway, that's it for me today. Hope you guys enjoy this video and I'll catch you next time. Bye-bye.